What's up guys, it's Prasazan here and I'm back with another tutorial and I thought let's do a simplistic advertisement and I, th I thought and I, I came up with this design it's really simple but I thought it was really clean and looked really nice so if you want to make advertisements go watch this video if you don't I don't know if you want to do an advertisement of course uh, you need to have an item that you can advertise so in this advertisement I just quickly made for the tutorial purpose uh, I have taken a headphones, but you can take a mouse, a keyboard, well, well, actually whatever, G Fuel. So here you go, I found another pair of headsets, it's just some Bose headset. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you have um, for your advertising, but just throw something up that you like or like what you really wanna, once you have your render or like your PNG, make sure uh, the render looks nice and there are like no cuts anywhere. Check that out for sure. Make it a bit smaller because it's way too big now. So something like that. Uh, something like that okay make a new layer i want to have, have a nice background color i normally do black because in this this situation now the headphones are black so i'm going to do black i'm going to make a new layer and i'm going to take the rectangle marker tool so i'm just going to make a nice simple rectangle how i make a nice simple rectangle is holding alt and shift and then drag across your screen now and the problem in this situation is we don't have an accent color on the headphones. Normally you take the accent color or whatever your product is. Now in my situation I'm gonna just take a random color that maybe would fit the team. I think maybe that color, I'm not sure about that yet. But you, you still can change it with the hue and saturation of course. Now what you wanna do is double click that rectangle, go to stroke, there you go. Take the same color as your rectangle, uh, as your square, I'm sorry. Um, put it on the outside and make it as big as something like this so you have like a round edges if you know what i mean okay and then turn that square around make it a bit smaller so it would fit the headphones like so i'm gonna make it maybe a bit smaller like maybe they uh, pop out the top and the bottom yeah like that i think i like that i'm going to make a duplicate of that but i'm going to make this a normal layer so i'm gonna ra click right click and rasterize layer style so that i can't edit layer style anymore now what I want to do is the duplicate, I want to put that below or normal layer. Now then I'm going to make the other one a bit bigger. And then I'm going to choose another red or maybe a gray or maybe a white color for this one. Also, I'm going to make a normal layer of this one for sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to put in a color overlay on this. I'm not going to take a purple and I think that would fit the team. Maybe gray. Gray fit. I don't, I don't have... Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that one, Chief. Maybe a more a white color, I, I think. A more whitish, more whitish gray color. Yeah, I think that's better. I think that's better. Okay. Now what you want to do is just um, double click that other layer again that, that you just made and put an outer glow on that. The outer glow, you want to have the size around 38 or like 49, something like that. Basically like 13. And normally I put that on a screen, but with the black background, you're not always sure that your color is showing. So it's a screen or a normal. Now you want to do the same thing with the smaller uh, square. Going outer glow and choose, of course, red. And with screen, you can't see it on the white. So we're going to put it on the normal. Now that's are the basics. Now we want to, you know, edit the headphones a little bit. So what you want to do is add the duplicate, uh, add a new layer, making clipping mask on the headphones. So you just want to hold an alt and click on that headphone layer then you want to take your brush with the red color or whatever color you have chosen taking your brush uh, make sure the hardness is on a zero and the size is around i don't know 200 and you want to just put uh, just color in the sides of your headphones like the red has given off a light to the headphones as well but don't color in the part that's outside square and just want to color in the parts that are inside so splats in the middle okay i'm going to just lower the opacity a bit it's not too much a little bit i think um this is a bit too much i'm going to just erase that a bit now i want to do that again make another clipping mask and i want to take the white color that you used and just want to do those um those edges that's just outside the other square like so okay and also want to lower the opacity a bit but not too much okay there you go that's the basic edit that you want to do for your headphones mouse whatever uh, what i also do uh, in this situation if you want to give like the headphones like also an outer glow like they give them light as well maybe also put an outer glow on that now what you want to do is copy the back uh, rectangle uh, square i want to move that up 
like so and then you want to put one at the bottom as well like so and then maybe one on the bottom right as well um, make sure they are aligned perfectly and maybe one on the top left as well so, uh, i want to copy that red one as well and put it um maybe in the like so okay and maybe you can put one in the top left as well but i'm not going to do that just i don't know now you want to just make a new layer get your uh, rectangle tool and make it just a straight line and fill that in i'm just going to do all backspace fill that in with the same color as your big square i'm going to put that around here like so okay i'm going to do another one i'm going to duplicate that with ctrl j and i'm going to put one around here okay there you go and uh, maybe one more yeah one more we'll duplicate that with ctrl j again and put one here as well okay this is not perfect there you go okay that i like that i like that i'm going to do another one but with uh, circles so i'm going to make a new layer going to make i'm going to put a circle, uh, line right here just to help me out i'm going to make a circle of course so i'm going to take the elliptic tool and make a little circle like so fill that in with all backspace or with the bucket tool and fill and duplicate that with ctrl j and then you want to just position them like so and then just duplicate them again uh, merge them as well so merge all the circles that you just did duplicate them put them next to each other again and duplicate them again i'm going to put them here i'm going to make duplicate that again turn them around and i'm going to put one where can i put another one and cut that part oh like so take your font i'm just gonna type in uh boss of the headphones of course going to take the red for the font okay and i'm going to move that to uh, turn that around with ctrl t of course and i'm going to put the text right here there you go i think that has a nice fit to it you can also give it an outer glow with it if you want i'm going to duplicate it again and i'm going to put one at the other side just to make it fit like you know give it like a nice little um, aesthetic feeling uh, maybe more to the left that fits me yeah, that's better that's better and uh, what i want to do is um just headphones maybe i want to type that as well uh with white color of course i mean way bigger and i'm going to make just going to move the fill opacity we're just going to give that a stroke of the white I'm going to give it like uh, a three yeah something like that also going to turn that around like so and i'm going to place that right here I'm just in the middle i'm going to make them a bit bigger than just then they'll fit better yeah there you go i'm going to duplicate that and i'm going to put them at the bottom as well there you go i think that has a nice look to it i don't know i don't know i like this style i don't know just love it okay then that, that's really the basics then i just maybe did a hue and saturation to check out what it will look like with different colors and not not gonna lie i think i've chosen the best color for this okay what i want to do now is uh, blur the outside so what you want to do is merge everything everything together so i'm going to just do this map i'm just going to duplicate duplicate this map and ctrl e them so ctrl j and ctrl e so you have a duplicate of everything i'm going to do a layer via cut i'm going to duplicate it again again going to filter filter blur gaussian blur part of 6.4 maybe yeah i'm going to take the erase tool and erase the headphones of course and i'm going to erase this these parts as well then i'm going to put a filter noise on that filter add noise at a six as well and you have a little of that noise effect that i like i don't know like that what you also can do is go to filter camera raw filter out those colors a bit more you want to just pop out the contrast a bit and also the blacks a bit as well maybe the exposure just a bit and also the highlights okay then you also can go do color mixer if you want and then pop out the colors if you really want yeah, like so i think that works link them i think that works and there you go there you have it there you have your simplistic advertisement really quick really easy but i think it really spices up your advertisement with the lines and with the text um subscribe join the discord as well we're almost at a 400 uh, member mark also we're almost hitting 3 
thousand subscribers so thank you guys for that and i'll see you guys in the next one peace